Solving Systems of Equations Graphically, Lesson 8.1b. An ordered pair, x, y, is a solution of an equation in two variables if we're substituting the x and y values into the equation results in a true statement. A system of equations is a set of equations that have the same variables. So this would be a linear system or a system of equations. They both have y, they both have x. This is not a linear system. This has y and x. This one has p and q. That's not a system of equations. This is. An ordered pair is a solution of a system of equations if it is a solution of every equation in the set. Since the graph of an equation represents all ordered pairs that are solutions of the equation, if a point lies on the graphed lines of the two equations, the point is a solution of both equations and is, therefore, a solution of the system. Now, if you missed the video for 8.1a, it's linked in the description, and we explained this. So if you're getting confused and you missed that video, Go back and watch that short video quickly, and then come back to this one. Here it's telling us to solve this system by graphing. So we're going to graph each equation on the same grid as the first step. We look at this equation, and we see y is equal to x plus 5. We know there's an invisible 1 there. So we know that this plus 5 is the y-intercept. So our graphed line is going to go through a positive 5 right there. And we know that we have 1x, so our slope is a 1 rise over a 1 run. That, and they're positive. That means we're going to go up 1 and over 1. And we could take a straight edge and draw our line, our graphed line. For this equation, we see that our slope is negative 3. We can write it as a rise over run as negative 3 over 1. And we can see that our y-intercept is a plus 5. Now, do you remember what we talked about before? When we have a positive slope, it rises to the right. The line rises to the right. When we have a negative slope like this, it falls to the right. So we know our line is going to go down in this direction. So we start with the positive 5, our y-intercept, and we do a slope of negative 3 over 1. That means we came down 3. So from like this point, we came down 3 and over 1 to get to that 5. We could also start at the 5 and go down 3 and over 1 to here. And we take a straight edge and draw the line. See where they intersect? Now, for step 2, we find the ordered pair of the point of intersection of the graphed lines. And we've got 0 for our x value. Here's negative 1. Here's positive 1. So that must be 0. And we have 5 for our y-axis. We have 0, 5 for our x and y. And we can check by substitution to see if 0, 5 is a solution of the system of equations. We take our First equation, y is equal to x plus 5, and we put 0 for x and 5 for y in, and we find 5 equals 5. It's true. And for our second equation, y equals negative 3x plus 5, we put 5 for y and 0 for x. We get a negative 3 times 0, which is 0, and we have 5 is equal to 0 plus 5. Well, that's 5 equals 5. That's true. So, the solution of the system is 0, 5. Here, again, it's telling us to, to solve the system by graphing. Here's our system of equations. We have y is equal to negative 2x minus 4, and we have y is equal to negative 2 times x plus 2. First thing we do is graph each equation on the same grid. To graph this first equation, we think, okay, well, this is our m value. That's our slope. We have a negative 2 over a 1. And our y-intercept is negative 4. So we know it's going to cross the line of the y-axis at negative 4. And we also know it has a negative slope, so it's going to fall to the right of 2 down and 1 across. So if we go 1, 2 down, and 1 across, we'll be here. And if we go down 2 and 1 across, we'll be here. 
we can connect this with a straight edge and graph our line. Now, for this one, in order to graph this, we first need to do distributive property. We distribute this negative 2 to the x and to the positive 2. We get negative 2x minus 4. Our slope, again, is a negative 2 over a 1, and our y-intercept is a negative 4. Wait a minute. Look at that equation, and look at the one we got after we did the distributive property. They have the same slope and y-intercept. Look at this graph line, and look at this graph line. For the second step, we find the ordered pair of the point of intersection of the graphed lines. But wait, we have y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. Once we use the distributive property on the second equation, we see the equations are the same. y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. Since the equations are the same, they would have identically graphed lines. Our red line would be on top of the purple line. When we graphed the system of equations, y is equal to negative 2x minus 4, and y is equal to negative 2 times x plus 2, we found they shared the graphed line. This means every ordered pair that is a solution of one equation is also a solution of the other equation. This system of equations has infinitely many solutions as ordered pairs, which are points along their shared line. Every single point along this shared line is a solution for both equations, so there's an infinite number of solutions for the system. So in this video, we discussed one solution for a system of equations. We also discussed an infinite amount of solutions when the lines share the same graphed line. But in Lesson 8.5, we'll discuss systems of equations in which there is no solution. So I have a hint for you. If the intersection is the solution, a system of equations with no solution must not have an intersection. The graphed lines never meet. What do you call two lines next to each other that never meet? That would be a system of equations with no solution. We're finished with part B. We're moving on to the last part, solving problems using systems of equations. I hope you're doing well, and please join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.